how am I connect with him? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna explain this. Everything it actually has his particle. Yes, and the universe, quote unquote, is him. Hi everyone. Right now, I just want to talk about something that's my relationships with my, with me and my God, my God. But I always say that I'm like, like, oh my God. <laughs> I, I mean, like, like with the gods, the source of everything, because it's been like a like a hell right actually to be honest with you. Because there's so many things that's happening over there. Apparently, there's there's a little drama too along the way. Like, let's put it like something that I wanted to present, or something that's actually imaginative, imaginative too. Yeah, kind of like that. Because there's so many representative about the the feeling actually because. Because when I try to connect with him, it's more toward feeling, actually, rather than the image. And then maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe because many people have the the uh, like like kind of like like they imagine something with with how the figure of God will actually. No, you need to feel them, and. That's actually like become my part of my struggle to to find who is he or him because I feel like he's masculine. Yeah. He's like a masculine energy actually. That's I feel towards him. It's like a father actually, like a father figure for me because that's how I always call him and I always feels like I'm thinking him like that though, rather than something that. Uh, really big and really above there, but it's actually much closer than maybe many people talks about. Yeah, I just want to talk about something about my something like this about my experience of my relationships with my with the the source of everything. Right now, I tend to try to call him the source rather than the God because. Well, that has a has a story too, because I've been trying to call him God, but apparently, it makes me thinking, uh, like that imaginative God. You know, I I don't know you got what I mean though, because I've been actually I've been connect with him since the beginning, but I just didn't feel like it like it's actually him. And that's gonna be another another story. I'm gonna talk about that one more little by little. So I've been like trying to. So this is kind of like like really not organized well because well it is as raw it is. I didn't plan out. I didn't script anything about this video actually. So I'm kind of confused. How should I talk about this? That's I wanna share about my experience with God Himself. Uh, actually, he is first of all. Actually, he is kind of like my my father figures. Actually, and I'm I'm kind of like thinking him like father right now. Rather than uh, well, he is the source. He is the creator. Yes, I know that. But because of that, because of that, that like he is the creator of everything, including me. So why not? I'm thinking like like which means you are my Father, you know, because you are the creator. I ever thinking about that once in the past, and from there, it, it's go moving on and goes on, because I'm trying to talk about this kind of like jumble together yeah, but with my memory. I I didn't know which one is actually. Which is the sequence and how the first and how it goes on because there's so many things that's happening that I don't even cannot remember everything actually like like what like the timeline about it 
and which and which and which you know like, you know, like and what time what time and then what day and then which is which is the first and which is the and then after that what's happening and then yara 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 you know there are so many things that's happening and I also want to talk about how I'm connect with him and how I connect with him easily at the end of it it's a little word family itself I'm thinking about him like a family actually and that's why I thought I'm thinking about him like a father but I'm gonna try to tell you how I'm connect much more technically later so that maybe that's gonna be something that you guys can do or uh, learn or try it by yourself because I feel like that is much more easy I'm gonna tell that later at the end of it right uh, how like technically for you to connect with him directly but first of all I just want to talk about the what's going on with me and then what's going on with me with him and then how things are been going on first of all what I understand about God actually or the source over here because I try to, t- to call him the source all the time because but because I'm getting used by the the crowd and also the people thinking a way of like call him God yeah and it's actually much easier for people to understand when I, when I talk about him too by using the word of God but actually it's much more fitter to, to be called as a, the source why because that is much more closer to him and right? then you call him God because you, when you call him God it feels far but when you call him source, it feels closer. Because why? Because this, when you call source, which means he's everywhere. Like everything, even my camera, even my phone right now that I'm using. Because I'm, I'm recording with, with the phone right now that I have. So yeah, in everything. So he's the creator of everything. The source of everything all the creator of all everything basically including you and me and everyone first of all that and he is the source of light and which is the source of love that's why i feel i always feel like love loving persons and father figures teaching you know and it's unconditional love like it's never stopped to tell you and try to guide you no matter where you go uh, if i want to talk about this i'm gonna like I'm gonna it's really melancholy like i'm gonna go with melancholic actually because it's really something that touch my heart and my life because it's always been with me even since I didn't think about him like this right now like actually in the beginning I'm not quite that that close or thinking about him like talk to him that much well actually this whole time I've been talking with him it's kind of a weird thing though like I didn't think him like ah, should I explain this like when I was little kids like when I was still me like like still the mini version of me like I'm still small I didn't know what this God is I didn't know what is him I just know like yeah he is the source he is the creator he is the God Tuhan Yang Maha Esa in my words and I didn't know what's that mean it just worked for me you know and I was like oh okay Oh, something that higher, okay, like that's it. You know, I didn't know, and then I didn't try, I didn't like really uh, try to understand that much, I guess, or trying to thinking about him like something that really be, you know. No, 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 like I just maybe at that time I'm still naive and I'm still in innocence too. And there's a one time that actually I ever think like because uh, my background is Buddhist and in the Buddhist actually there's no uh, God concept actually 
or God's hierarchy or God's system or yeah yeah like 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 that you know like, like godly like is in the Buddhist like the Siddhartha Gautama itself that concept and method of God is actually distracting uh, your purpose you know and then uh, many people is kind of like having misunderstanding about him like how right now is which is like it's kind of like true though like what the Siddhartha Gautama uh, talk about about it because there are so many people that's kind of misunderstand about God or the source over here I ever thinking about that way though until like but at the time sometime like uh, some it's kind of like feels like uh, makes me disconnect you know like I'm thinking that way but it makes me feels like I don't quite that connect to him like it it makes me feels like cut off somehow because apparently this whole time I've been talking to him without me realizing it like he's always talking to me even though I'm not thinking about him like God so he's gonna like 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 talk through my intuitions and I without me realizing through my heart through my intuitions guiding me without asking anything back actually of course with my guides sometimes my guides that talk to me sometimes another entity that talks to me through my intuition that I didn't that at that time I didn't know like I have this kind of ability I thought like it was kind of like normal thing you know like like how other kids doing I thought like it was normal and then I thought like it was me and also like it was I'm talking with myself and then apparently no it was with I don't know another another different consciousness actually that actually cannot be seen by eyes Sometimes I talk alone too, and some makes me ma- makes my mom confused. Too. So yeah, that's gonna be another whole st- whole talks if you guys interest about it. And then who he is then, and then why I feel like he's kind of like like uh, a man or a masculine energy. Actually, a man is kind of like uh, not quite good interpretations more like like masculine but because i feel like uh masculine for me is like a father figures and i feel like he's kind of father figure for me so maybe he's become that role in my life probably so he's kind of like approach me in that way so it it's it's easy to approach it's like that because that's how it is with the, with the way that the source talk to you guys actually i think this has happened with everyone too not only me yeah because he's talk not only me not only me only yeah but to everyone too but the problem here is you just that do you listen to him he's talk though to everyone but do you listen to him that's that's it you know you need to go to, to the church actually he's always be there everywhere, every time, and everywhere you go, and, and whatever that you're doing, actually, even in your privacy. <laughs> so, so yeah, he's always everywhere, actually, and and then he's kind of like become father figure with me, with me because apparently. I I become closer and closer and closer by the time with my spiritual journey because I've been in tune with spirituality like this did it's like four years ago actually not that recent but I've been into this kind of psychic stuff or maybe this ability of mine is since I was a little kid that didn't I didn't know that it was like that that it was actually a clear cognizance or intuitions and I have strong intuitions and, and then from there on it's going on and yada, 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 yada. actually in the beginning I connect with with this kind of spirituality because of tarot reading actually <laughs> and from there the angel numbers 
keep popping up for the whole month. Like it's making me crazily unbelievable for the whole entire month. That's another story for that. Let's see if anyone interests on it, alright? Just leave a comment of everyone in the below if you're really interested about that story. Uh, I basically, my life is... But not like I'm kind of like like a cave main actually. I'm an introvert person. But even though I'm in a, like a home person, there's so many things that's going on though, like in my head, in my heart, and, and also in the spiritual side in the dream world especially because i always dream every day so yeah that's why i cannot be far from spiritual world and astral realm actually i'm not that 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 can see them yeah but i can feel them i guess and i can talk to them probably through telepath through the feel through the heart So yeah, coming back into the topic, to, to the source, then who he is, and then how did I connect with him? How? Hmm, that's interesting question because I believe there's so many people that's confused, right? Like like how like it feels far for for him, for you to connect to them, and then you confuse. Maybe you still have a lot of question too. I mean like. Until now, I still have a lot of questions about him. When it comes to the source, don't stop there, everyone. Always asking something about him, like try to know him. It's like kind of like you you know someone, but you didn't know them entirely. So you always discover something new about the person that you know, and right. So that's exactly how things are between me and him, uh, the source. Because there's always, every day I always discover something new about him though. So, but it doesn't mean I didn't believe him or I didn't believe like his access. Yeah, it's just like a question about knowledge, about knowing, about getting closer and getting know him much closer and closer and closer. That's how I always do. It's for the sake of knowledge and the sake of heart to hearts, you know. And then, how am I connect with him? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna explain this carefully, and right? it's like from the very essence, I guess. Like I said before, he's everywhere, right? And I, I call him the source too. So which means he's the source of everything in this world. Uh, the walls basically he's everywhere like the walls in this fan that i'm used that i'm i'm hold right now in my microphones my clothes everywhere actually the tables and then and yada 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 like everything it's actually has his particle yes his particles like 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 energy particle of him because before they become something like this, they become solid like this, and transform, become like this by the human. It was something that raw, right? Something that's coming from the earth. And the earth itself is actually created by the God. And do you think what is actually made of? That's him, actually. Every single of it, actually every, every atom probably, yeah, there's uh, there's him in it the source but it just very very tiny small amount of him but can you imagine like from that small thing it form and then combine into one big chunks into become anything actually in this universe let's put it that way not only talking about our planets not only talking about uh human our body or organic you know, or material to know. No, no, no. Something that's actually cannot be touched, but you know, it exists over there like winds, air, gas, uh, frequency, radiations. Yeah, that one. Basically, everything that's actually producing heat, producing 
Nah, how matter how small it is, which mean he's there. That's the theory. All right, that's the theory in the behind because that's how I understand him um, because he's everywhere basically. It's gonna go to science and stuff like that though, and yara yara yara, because I also interest with science science things too. Every time that I found something in YouTube or in articles talking about science, I'm gonna try to read and try to absorb the knowledge, especially about uh, particles. Atoms, space, stuff like that, and yeah, and yeah. From there, we got the solid foundation of understanding over here. Like basically, he's everywhere, and like as I say, he's everywhere in the whole universe. The whole universe is actually made of of his particles, more likely. Yeah. Not everything actually, because that's gonna be another whole talks. Uh, just like that's gonna be like another chapter and another uh, big talks though. Because I I know like there's something that's actually not part of him, you know. I, but I don't know what it is. I'm still kind of like questioning about that too. Uh, it's kind of like something that's really, really something that's really nerdy though. When it comes to spiritual, because I love about something like this. But let's put it like most of them, the whole universe is actually made of of his particles, basically that, and then the entire universe. So which means he is everywhere, the whole universe. Which means the universe itself is part of him, and the universe, quote unquote, is. Him. right the source because he's everywhere the sun the planet the earth the jupiter the solar systems the galaxy the observable universe and un- un- uh un- 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 observ- observable observable so or in the so- observable that yeah, some that's not observed yet let's put it that way the universe and then i don't know where's the limits outside the perimeter you know like until the end is actually that's that's producing heat basically it's him no matter how small it is no matter how low it is it's him actually so he's everywhere the whole universe and then then and then you're gonna question like and and then yeah and then he's everywhere so what you know hmm so does that mean that's god no does that mean the universe god no he just made the universe by his part of him all right that's a theory all right i'm gonna call this as theory because I cannot prove it either, and it's actually I'm just wanna talk about this and sharing about my understanding and about my founding and also about what I understand as my spirituality. Especially, I'm talk to him the everywhere and the whole time too. Like I can I can call him anytime. Actually, everyone can though. It's it's just that not only me, yeah. Every human, everyone that's watching here, you could. You just like maybe some of you have your own way, and so maybe some of you didn't know how to do it. Uh, maybe you already know how to do it. You know, like you close with him. Each person has different relationships. You know, so I kind of like you have a different connection with your family you know, and different relationships. Kind of like that. Is in in a way that you patching them, you know, and that's how the universe or yeah the universe or the source doing it. But does that mean the universe is actually the god? No, because he is beyond the universe. He's beyond this dimension. He's beyond these three dimensions or above dimensions too. Like for the five D, six D, seven D, and then yara yara yara. Like I don't know how many dimension they are. It could be like unlimited too. 
I feel like he's like beyond that. But until where I don't know, and where he is I don't know. Like the real him, you know. And then who? Then where he is? Then I don't know. Don't ask me, right? Because I didn't know. <laughs> but but for what sure, he's here with us. So why well, you need to find something that you don't know? That's actually too far. Maybe one day when you are not. Living in my bone and flesh like this, maybe you will know. I don't know. Like you're getting higher and advancing your soul level, and getting higher and higher dimension. Because that's gonna be another whole like this super super le- up level topic that we don't know actually. So he's beyond this universe. Then what's the relation then? Then how? Then what? Then what about the connection? How can you connect to him? And then yara yara yara. Well, like I said before, he is the the whole universe. He's like this universe actually part of him. So this is my thinking and my idea. Then if he's everywhere in everything, in even the air, in even the universe itself is actually him. And you living in it, and you are part of him too. You are made of his like too. So, why not you just connect with the whole universe? But it doesn't mean like you connect the whole universe, yeah. But it's kind of like a domino effect, yeah. So you connect with your surrounding, which is the universe, the space. The room that you have right now, that you're watching me right now, the things that surrounding you, connect with them. The plant, the air, the space, the frequency around you, connect with them. Feels it, feels the room, feels the lights, feels the comfortables, your surrounding, and that's where you connect with the universe. And then you imagine that connections. Make an domino effects to the source. You don't need to know where he is, but just imagine him like a source of light, like it's a light, like a sun probably. But it's, it's not a sun, but it's just a light, you know. And then you just imagine him like through the universe, iconic to you. Source. As I say this, actually, my body is actually connecting to him directly, and my my body is getting warmer up. How can you tell us if you already connect to him or not? For me, I can tell us through the goosebump, the goosebump that's actually through your whole body into your back, into your into your neck. But it's comfortable, so not something that chilly, but it's warm, and your body is starting to warmer and getting warmer and warmer, and you feel comfortable. That means you connect with him. As simple as that. You don't need to be hearing him, because he talks to you not through the voice. All right, he talks to you through the heart. Sometimes he talk through the voice or through the sound in your head or some uh, something that's actually like talking back to you. But actually, that's kind of rare, you know, because uh, he's not gonna try to spin put you like a baby, except it's necessary because you are a baby probably. <laughs> I don't know which uh, each people has their soul level. You know, and then they people can become a baby at some point. At some some at some point they can become adult, right? On some perspective they are babies. On some perspective they are adult. And yara yara yara, you know, it depends on how your soul level is and how your soul's understanding and your soul's uh, evolving actually. And that's why uh, there's axis. Reincarnation, right? And reincarnation is access because you need to restart back. Either you need to repeat the previous lesson that you haven't learned yet, or something something that you haven't learned, 
or you miss a little bit, or maybe much, depend. Or you need get, you need to to learn another whole different lessons, and you need to start over from the beginning, actually. So yeah, of course, all of that depend on your on your permission too. Doesn't mean like he gonna force you. No, it's depend on you, on on how you already is. And that's why, uh, you need to keep talk or keep connect with him. Actually, everyone, it's just like me, yeah. Because, and I just like he's really missing that. Uh, yeah, right now, yeah, I feel like he's really missing that to connect with everyone. Actually, in that way. Not in the way of ima- imaginary by the people, you know, like something like grand, something like his big, something that's super big and super mega, you know, and omniscience or something that you need to worship him. He didn't ask you to worship him actually. He asked you thinking him. No, he didn't ask that either though. But it's up to you. They say. You wanna thinking him like a friend, go ahead. If you wanna thinking him like a father, go ahead. If you wanna thinking him like a mother, go ahead. If you wanna thinking him like uh, I don't know, like some kind of like another person that you close with, or but you still talk to him, it's okay too. He didn't ask that much though. But he does missing to feel connected with everyone because today's age, people cannot disconnect with him though because they kind of like in tune into the materialistic more rather than the spirituality. I'm gonna say like it's no, you don't need to like you don't need to be like connect with the spiritual and become a spirituality person. Yeah, no, it's just like. Don't forget about the spirituality because spirituality is part of your life, everyone. Everything in this world is gonna connect into spirituals, if even religion itself, though. Because at the end of it, the religion is actually the core of religion is spiritual, and you cannot be far from that. So spiritual is actually the core of everything, no matter how what the teaching is, actually. Even when you are far from spirituality, you still gonna connect into spiritual. It's just like a bit, a bit far, you know, like that. But you gonna, you know, at the end of it, you gonna connect into spirituality without you realizing it. From our experience that you going through your materialistic world and materialistic life of you, or working, 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 you know, when you are working with him, you learning through another humans. And it's become experience for you. Even experience itself, when you learn something that's actually valuable, that itself is spiritual. Because when it comes to spiritual, it's talking about your soul, personal, everyone. It's not about like you can learn from others. No, others can teach you, but at the end of it, you're the one that needs to experience it. You just know the theory. Even like if I'm talking about this. And I believe each of you gonna have different experience. <clears throat> As I talk about that, about the how to connect with the God, and I believe you guys gonna have different feels and different experience from there. I don't know if if any one of you gonna do it or not. Yeah. So yeah, that's how it is. That's how I connect with with the God or AKA the Source, because because right now I just wanted to call him the Source actually, but it's been uh, maybe I'm getting used to call him like a go- a God, you know, actually less because that's how people call him this whole time, but actually. It's more than that. To be honest, it's more the the God that you that's human 
or everyone that's imaging him like more than that and much more softer everyone he's not in the external but actually it's inside of you too not only in the external but actually inside of you too in your heart yeah he's much closer into the heart of each human this entire planet much more much more closer and easier for you to connect yeah maybe you can do it that way too. it's up to you you know but my way is like I'm connect into my heart and I, and then after that I connect into the whole universe or the space around me which is the space in it like I'm living right now around me and from there from the universe I connect into the source wherever he is don't ask me where he is then no I don't know all right <laughs> I didn't know, all right. All I can know is like he's light. That's it. But I don't know where. Oh, I ever seen some vision actually in the past when I was on a stream, when I was uh, asking some healing, I think, because at that time I was having hard time to focus, and then suddenly I uh, I got a vision and I, I just like I got called and pulled. Uh, but it was like really instant pull, like in just a matter of milliseconds, you know. And then I saw a vision, not like a vision that's actually in my dream, like what I'm seeing in my in in my eyes, yeah. No, it's seeing in my mind actually, and it's become like a dream. And I'm kind of like losing the consciousness uh, over here for a moment, but I'm still conscious in in the in this plan in this planet, because at that time I was close into into the space, because everywhere is actually dark at the time, but it's bright because of his light in front of me like sun rays into me yeah like a sun rays and then he kind of like shine through me and i was like kind of uh i think it's i'm what did you call it crouch i think like crouch that way i think i I'm, if i don't re- wrong remember yeah or i think uh, or i'm standing and then i'm just receiving the uh the uh the blessing because at that time i got a blessing and healing from him and an energy to heal my body it was really sudden i don't know why it's actually rare though for me to meet him like that but then i saw another uh soul or or entity he's not human yeah he's a dinosaur actually but it's conscious and it's cute actually <laughs> the dinosaur the dinosaurs is not scary not pointy not sharp ages you know it's brown ages with his body and it's kind of like big and it is cute dinosaurs actually because that's that's what i saw though it's kind of like got the receiving the blessing too from the god And he's kind of like those those sounds are kind of like like really calm too, you know. So we got the we got the blessing together because there's all there's only two of us at, uh, in that space. And then after we're done, I look at him. He's looking at me by his by the time that he's walking. And then I don't know how he do it. He's kind of like. Making a balloon, like it's out of, it's like appear out of nowhere, you know, like like in the middle of space, and then move, you know, like become bigger, and it's kind of like hopping onto it, and it's become, become his transportations, because it's floating. It's kind of weird though, <laughs> I, and I was like, I'm seeing that kind of like, oh, cute. <laughs> Because I I like it I like him, but I don't know who he is and other and I don't know where he's coming from. Maybe he's from another planet or another uh, whole new whole different universe 
observable universe. I don't know because the system and the the physics that it has is kind of different though. I just like that. Because how come like a ball become a transportation device and it's floating actually? So I don't know. I think it's kind of like using the vibration technology. I don't know. It's not like that. He's big, but not that tall. It's kind of like roundy body. He has a tail, so but it's not that really big and really menacing. You know? The legs is kind of the proportion of his leg with his body is kind of shorter than the body. You know? And then, and then once the, the that ball transportation appear in front of him, he just hopping into it, and then kind of like kind of like sleeping on top of that brown balls, and then hopping onto it, and then just floating, and then fly away to somewhere, go back to his place probably. I don't know what I'm seeing over there. All right. <laughs> it's kind of cute. What I can do is like what I can feel and what I can I can tell you that I love that vision because it's cute. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not questioning everything else. I just love it because I, it's cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how my experience with him actually and how I connect to him. And yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna be useful for anyone that listening to this, but I hope this video is actually useful for everyone. Just like part of me to share my spirituality. I'm gonna make these channels become something like this probably for me to talk about what's going on with me and what's in my head and, and also about my spirituality too. So yeah, I hope you're liking it and I hope you it's useful for you guys. And thank you so much for listening to me until this much actually, <laughs> until the end. And I'll see you guys again on the, on the next video. And thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to the below if you want to ask about certain particulars about spirituality related or maybe you just want to discuss or asking about me something or you want to comment something go ahead everyone i would love to all right i'm gonna try my best to answer it later <laughs> thank you so much oh don't forget to check my twitch because i always do tarot reading for everyone's over there you can get it free and you can get it uh, paid reading. It's up to you which one that you want to choose. Bye, everyone.